morning. Oh, all right, so I've got pre-workout taken, protein taken, and creatine taken. I wasn't taking creatine. I stopped taking it. I just had this, you know, thought process of, you know, since creatine does tend to make you get a bigger pump, um, makes your muscles swell, all that jazz, and it does it throughout the day, you know, it, it definitely makes you look bigger. So if you're trying to cut, you know, you're trying to do a shred like I'm doing, creatine typically is something you want to cut out because you, it's gonna, essentially it's gonna make you hold on to water and, and uh, so I stopped taking the creatine, but there's a noticeable strength difference, which I was not expecting. And, you know, looking into it more, researching it some more, I feel like, yes, it will make me swell more. It will make me appear to be bigger than I am. Um, but it's also going to lead to more overall muscle growth. And since I'm trying to lose fat and not lose any muscle, ultimately I'd like to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. More of a more of a recomp than than a true shred. Then I think the creatine is actually going to help. I think it's actually going to help push my body to to get that true muscle growth out of it. Um, while not, you know, not ultimately affecting the fat loss, it might affect the appearance a little bit because I'm looking bigger, looking more swole. But, uh, but ultimately it should still allow me to lose the weight and gain the muscle mass. So, um, that's, that's basically basically my thought process behind it. So I started taking creatine again this morning. Obviously it takes it takes time to load it up. I'm going to have to keep taking it every day before I start, you know, for, for a while before I start really seeing the, the real effects of it. So we'll keep going and see how, uh, see how it goes see what happens from there um, I decided I'm gonna do more of a zigzag style diet so instead of 2,000 calories every day um, I'm gonna stick around that you know 1800 to 2,000 calories for about five out of the seven days of a week in the other two days I'm gonna go a little closer to 3,000 calories a little not quite two, but a little closer to my my maintenance calories doing a lot more research on recomp and although a lot of people think it's not possible the studies are quite opposite and say that it's extremely possible but the most successful of, of all the study groups doing recomps that's how it worked the, the the most effective was was doing you know those couple of days where they could uh, essentially carb load back you know so so yesterday was family movie night so um, I think the plan is to keep family movie night and then date night those two nights they're they're fairly evenly spread out um, Tuesday Friday that kind of keeps them separated out enough from the week that you know I can spoil myself a little bit extra those those couple of days and get a few extra calories, help my body recover a bit more, and offset the, the meals, helping my body not quite uh, adjust to the lower level. <coughs> and then 
hopefully between that and still going seven days a week. And today is today is Sunday, 5.30 in the morning Sunday. So I believe this is, oh, what is this, day five of, of, of po posting up these videos. So I think we're doing it, doing good. We'll keep going. Get in there. Okay. Oh, so Sundays. Um, I am the only person in here, and I usually like to do a few of the exercises that um, are neglected throughout the week. Uh, muscles aren't quite as sore, and I can push myself a little bit on those workouts, but maybe they're, uh, I don't know, maybe awkward to do around others or they just don't really fit into the other days. So um, right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and and just start doing some forearm stuff. Um, try to use this little jumping box here. Um, and I'm just going to go up and down with my wrists and with a different weight. And what I've found, not only does that work it really hard, but I've found I, you do have to switch, rotate your wrists, go the other way. If I, if I go just this way, I'll hit this main forearm, um, but it, it's weird. I don't feel any kind of movement or pump on this other side. But if I rotate the wrist into it, I get a gnarly pump on this other side. Um, and then I tend to. To go back the other way and, and go backwards with it so it's a little bit weird um I'm, I'm gonna be honest i don't think i've ever seen anybody else do it i don't know that it's a real thing what i know is it gives me an early forearm pump and uh it seems to definitely help um and the burn i do it long enough the burn definitely stays for geez for quite a while um and it doesn't seem to hurt any joints or anything so I like to stick at it so anyways let's without further ado we're gonna go ahead and see what happens with a 20 pounder here Ah.
Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'll see after after just one workout, one one set. And they're already they're already pretty pumped. But we'll <sighs> go ahead and do that a couple times and then I'm not sure what else we'll see we'll see what happens interesting oh <sighs> I think I'm going to drop the weight to 15s for this set. I'm going to start opposite direction, start with the backs. Oh. Oh my gosh, that burn. Whew. All right, other side. Oh. All right. Oh. <sighs> Oh. <sighs> 
Try to get as much extension whew, down as I can. Oh, which means overhanging my arm a bit on this box, which makes it hard to do it. Oh, but. Oh, regardless, man. This looks silly, but it, it's quite the workout. Oh. Let's just shift you down. And you can just keep watching. Oh, goodness. All right. Oh. So, I am just not feeling this morning. I try to try to do a set of a few different workouts, and uh, I don't know. None of them, none of them felt good. So, I gave up. Today's just going to be more of a active rest day. So we'll go ahead and. You'll probably do a good 30 minutes on this this upright bike and I don't know maybe some stair climber or maybe I'll just call it good at 30 minutes so we'll see Sunday's usually a shorter workout day I usually have been making it more of a an active rest day with you know real minimal sets of other things try to give give my uh, body a little bit of a break on the main muscle groups. So it's just what it is today. So we'll uh, see you guys for car talk. All right. <clears throat> so that's workout done. 30 minutes of cardio. Got some protein, 
shower and dress for church it's a good Sunday morning good start that's uh like I said I wasn't really feeling much this morning did those those four sets of of the different directions on the forearms and uh, you know I tried a few other things tried try to oh I tried what did I try hip thrust and try to hit my traps from a different direction and just a few different things but you know everything I started just just wasn't feeling it so I just I just stopped decided uh, it's all right today's a good day for a rest day active rest day so did 30 minutes on the treadmill and did a oh, about 15 minutes on the walk in the track So overall, a good day. Not a not a heavy lifting day, but still a still a good good workout day in general. So we'll go home and finish up the finish up the rest of the day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. For oh, what is tomorrow day day six? So. We'll see you guys then.